Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to receive weather alerts to an email address or a cell phone using Weather Defender. Starting out, we've got the summer weather map open, uh, and we have the local radar turned on and the lightning. And you can see there's some activity here off the coast of Florida. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is create our perimeter. Now, these perimeters um, obviously can be used to protect your own family where you live, but they can also be created across the country uh, so that you can keep tabs on friends or relatives and give them advance warning if something's coming their way. Uh, you're limited to three perimeters in the residential edition, and it's unlimited in the commercial edition. So I'm just going to click this button first and create our perimeter here down in South Florida. And I'm just going to drag it out, give it about a say about a 20 mile range. Okay, so once you create the perimeter, you'll have a uh, pop-up settings form and it will ask you to fill in a few things. So we're just going to give it a name. I'm going to say this is uh, Uncle Bob's location, so I'll just, I'll just name it that. Any alert that I get will have this indicator in it, and so I'll know what it, where it's referring to when I get that alert. And then in this box, you can just check off the item that you want to monitor. There's quite a few items in here. You can even go into advanced settings and get even more detailed, uh, but we won't go into that in this tutorial. So just to keep things simple, I'm just going to watch out for lightning strikes. So I'll check that box. And then here's what I want it to do. I want it to send an email alert. So you just check that. Now, the very first time you do this, you are going to have to configure uh, a few settings using the email alert. So click the configure button and you'll receive a another pop-up form here now this is designed to look like a standard email um, uh, form would look in say Outlook or another email program where you simply you know enter the from address and the to address um, Sometimes it could just be to yourself, so you don't need these to have different. Or you could have, you know, you could have Uncle Bob's email address in there if you wanted to. Um, down below here in a subject line, we have defaults already filled in for you. It's going to say threat detected on, and then it says perimeter name, which would be Uncle Bob uh, at such and such a time. And there's also a body for the message here. Um, now, you're going to have to go in also to the server settings. This is where you're going to need to know what your email settings are because you're going to need to fill in what's called the SMTP server. This is what's used to actually send an email from your computer. This is what Outlook would use. Any kind of client would use this. So you're going to have to know that. It's going to be different depending on uh, where you use your email. Um, but it'll look something like this where there's some domain name .com or .net. The server port is usually going to be 25. Uh, sometimes it might be 80, but the default is 25. And then you're going to enter your username and password, and oftentimes your username is your email address. Again, it depends on who you have your account with and how that's set up. And then you just click OK. So now that you've got that configured the first time, you won't need to do that every single time. You just do that the first time. And then um, you can click Test if you want to. Um, and if you if it works, you'll receive an email. If it doesn't work, you'll receive a pop-up that indicates that it didn't work, and then you'd probably need to go in and check your settings again. Click OK, and that's it. Now we have down here our alert perimeter, and uh, we see there's some lightning strikes over here. There's nothing yet in the perimeter, but anytime a lightning strike breaches that perimeter, we're going to get an email address. Now, the next thing I want to show you is what if you're away from your computer, as we often are, and you'd like to get that address forwarded to your cell phone. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really quite simple. I'm going to go into the settings of this perimeter. Bring that up. You'll see this time around it's already pre-filled in based on what we entered. I'm going to configure the email alert here. And in the to address, I'm going to change this to a special phone number, my cell phone number, well it's not really my cell phone number, but at, and I'm going to say domain.com. Here's the thing, every cell phone manufacturer has an email address for that phone. 
Uh, so you, all you need to do in most cases is enter your phone number with a special domain name at the end and send it as a regular email message and it will come to your cell phone. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do is of course restrict down the size of the message because texts are uh, much smaller, you know, about 160 characters I believe. Um, and we'll get to that, but right now I'm going to pause and I'm going to put on the screen uh, a listing of all of the domain names depending on your provider. So when you fill in your to address here, you're going to enter your phone number and the appropriate or the relevant uh, domain name that I show you on the screen right now. Okay, good job. So you've got that in there and now let's go into uh, this and let's shorten this up. I'm just going to delete all that out, delete all that out and I'm going to make a really short and sweet message that will say uh, you know lightning detected in Bob's perimeter okay now the only problem with this is what if we're using a different perimeter it'll always say Bob's perimeter so what we want to do here is put in a variable insert variable it will say perimeter name and we'll insert lightning detected in perimeter name, perimeter, and then also the type of threat in the future or in a different situation we might want to be alerting on tornadoes or hail or different items. So we don't want to hard code lightning, we're going to use a variable there too. So I'm going to insert uh, layer name is going to be the most appropriate thing here, which would basically say layer name lightning, or in another case it could be storm warnings detected in Da, da, da. Now I'm also going to want to put a time, just in case I don't get the text message right away, at, let's just put time. There we go. So now we have this same message, a nice short and sweet message going right to our cell phones whenever anything enters in to Bob's perimeter. So that's how you set Weather Defender up to send you weather alerts to your email address or a cell phone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.